SD Gundam Battle Alliance is the latest Gundam game that's available for Steam, PlayStation, Xbox, and the Nintendo Switch. You take on the role of a pilot that gets recruited alongside his childhood friend to help fix anomalies in the G-Universe. The G-Universe is like a database of all events that has happened in all known Gundam timelines. Something has happened to this database that has caused mobile suits to appear in timelines they don't belong and is ruining the canonical events. Your main goal is to investigate these anomalies through break missions and gather missing data. Afterwards, you undergo two missions where you now help events transpire as they should. While the plot itself is similar to previous SD Gundam titles, and not to mention we're literally just reliving Gundam canon, the storytelling is pretty decent. It takes its time in unraveling the mysterious events that's happening, all while providing entertaining fully voiced interactions between characters. As for the combat, the game breaks away from the turn-based gameplay of previous SD Gundam titles and takes on an action RPG style or hack and slash gameplay that feels closer to Dynasty Warriors Gundam. You have a light and heavy melee attack which you can charge up to perform a launcher and perform aerial combos. You also have a primary ranged weapon as well as two sub-weapons which can be a melee or range attack depending on your mobile suit's category. There are three categories altogether. In-fighters which specialize in close-range combat, sharpshooters that specialize in range attacks, and all-rounders that have a mixed arsenal for both. Every mobile suit also has a special attack that they can perform once their SVA meter is full. You can also bring with you up to two partner mobile suits either in the form of AI partners, or bring along a friend or two through multiplayer mode. Clearing missions rewards you with blueprints that you will need to develop new mobile suits, as well as equipment that you can use to improve your units. While the game does not include every single mobile suit, the roster is massive enough and contains most of the iconic mobile suits of their series. You can further customize each mobile suit by spending currency to upgrade stats, you can also equip items that can let you auto-guard, improve certain stats, or reduce the cooldown of certain abilities. The game is very enjoyable, but of course, it has its flaw. While the story itself isn't original, the voice acting and interactions make for a very fun experience. Except, some of the exposition is delivered during combat. While this isn't a problem in itself, it becomes a problem when you realize that the game is only available in Japanese dub with English subtitles. So most of the time, you won't have the time to read the subtitles unless you want to get bodied in combat. Speaking of combat, the controls for this game are pretty tight and responsive. Combos are pretty easy to learn and having different arsenals for each mobile suit gives combat enough variety. My only real problem with combat, aside from the bosses being damaged sponges, is the limited space for fighting. Upon reaching certain areas, an invisible barrier is formed that limits the fighting speed. Meaning, it kinda sucks to play sharpshooters, as you always end up bumping into an invisible wall. It's a minor inconvenience, but can get annoying at times. As for customization, a lot of people will probably be complaining that the game does not have Gundam Breaker levels of customizability. However, the game school has never been about creating your own mobile suit. It's been about unlocking your favorite mobile suits and using them to fight alongside your favorite characters, like a self-insert fanfiction. So personally, I don't mind the simplicity of the upgrade and equipment system. However, if I had to complain about something, it would be the amount of grinding needed to upgrade a single mobile suit. You see, in order to upgrade your mobile suit stats, you need to spend capital, which you will need to grind for. And eventually, you'll reach a cap where you can no longer upgrade your stats. To uncap the units further, you'll need to farm for specific materials. But remember, there are three categories of mobile suits, so you need to grind these materials for each category and for every single mobile suit. 
while this does provide a good reason to revisit certain stages, it's a fact that grinding just isn't for everyone. Of course, there are certain stages that give better rewards, but these stages are usually harder and you'll want to bring a friend or someone online to help you with the grind. Speaking of multiplayer, my only complaint about this is the lack of crossplay across different platforms. While you will be able to play with others under the same console family, for example, PS4 players are able to play with PS5 players, you're not able to play with Xbox, Steam, or Nintendo Switch players. Which kinda sucks for you and your friends if you do not have access to the same console. That's it for a review of SD Gundam Battle Alliance. If you're looking for a new fast-paced Gundam game with decent combat, appealing visuals, great nostalgic music, and amusing character interactions, do give this game a try. I'm Jacob from the Wolfie team, signing out. You know, when you've watched and replayed most of the Gundam shows, it'll feel like you're listening to an episode of anime in the background. Like that one mission where Mula Flaga was telling the Archangel to get away, then Kira swoops in to save the day. Have you watched that episode so many times that it feels like I can understand Japanese without actually knowing any Japanese?